Melba Tolliver in News Center 4, tonight at 5. Are you a mind reader, yes or no? Will Joyce Beulafont say yes? Did Jack Jones say no? Find out as we play a game of Hunch and ESP, Mind Readers! And now, here's the star of Mind Readers, Dick Martin! <laughs> Welcome! You're beautiful! Welcome to Mind Readers, and just as quick as that, say hello to Joyce Bulafon and Jack Jones. <laughs> well, this is exciting because we're not going to wait for anything. We're not going to talk to anybody. We're going to win $15,000. That's what we can do right now. So, Elizabeth, come on, let's go judge the jury. Well, you have a good-looking jury there. Let's see if you can mind-read them. Yeah. Jury, have you ever written graffiti on the wall of a public place? Please vote now. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's, is that a strictly a guy's thing, or do women? Oh. Oh, women do that, too, I guess. How many up there do you think have written graffiti on the wall of a public place? Well, graffiti's an art form, and That's there's true. a lot of graffiti. I've never been in a place where there wasn't some, so I imagine a lot of people must be doing it. Somebody. I'm going to say six. Six, okay, up to six it goes. Six will get you $500. Between four and eight, $200. Let's find out how many have written graffiti on the wall of a public place. Four. No, four that would admit it. Okay. <laughs> the least you can play for is $2,000. Okay. There, little burgundy. Little little burgundy symphony in burgundy okay question number two jury did you take aspirin today please vote now oh you have to look at these people and now there's many reasons to take aspirin but how many up there do you think took an aspirin today most of these people look pretty good today. they look pretty healthy they don't look like they've had any headaches or you know but i'm going to say um Four. Four, okay. Four will be $500. Between two and six will be $200. Let's, let's find out how many took an aspirin today. Only oh. one? Who had a headache? Hi. He had a headache. <laughs> okay, only one. You still have time. Judith. Is it Judith? Ah, Julie, that old trick. Okay, Julie. Here we go. Uh, question number three. Do you own long underwear? <laughs> Please vote now. Do you, Johnny Olson, do you own long underwear? Yes, sir. You do. Have you ever played in the Crosby up north? You own long underwear. Julie, how many up there do you think own long underwear? Well, a lot of them could be skiers. Ah, I forgot ah. about that. You're right. So I am going to go with three. Three, okay. It'll be $500 for number three. Between one and five will be $200. Let's find out how many people own long underwear. Seven! <laughs> I didn't believe that. Okay, Julie, you have $200. We're going to play for $2,000. We play Celebrity Turnabout. Okay, the way you win $2,000 is to mind read Joyce Bulafon. And the way to do that is to correctly uh, uh, identify one answer. She, we're gonna ask her one question. All you have to do is have a majority answer one question, okay? I got it. You, you got it? No, I, got, oh, I can't wait to hear this. Okay, here's the question. Joyce, since you've been an adult, have you ever been spanked? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, sir, Miss Bankhead. <laughs> Who, me? Yes. <laughs> it says right here, Joyce, since you've been an adult, have you ever been spanked? Hmm. You're getting very personal here. And a little kinky is <laughs> to boot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Julie, we're looking for majority. How about Joyce? Do you think uh, she said yes or no to that? She looks like a good girl. I'm going to say no. No. 
No. Ray, what do you say? Well, I think she's a gorgeous little thing, but uh, I think she looks a little mischievous. I'm going to say yes. Yes, okay. We have a yes and a no. You're the jump ball for you, Elizabeth. I'm going to have to agree with Julie. She's too sweet for anyone to lay a hand on her. Okay. No. So it's no. We have a majority. So for $2,000, Joyce, did you say no? You know what? Mm. Don't laugh. I can't wait to see. My children thank me. Oh. I never thought yeah, of that. They do. Uh, you were thinking about a big rough color. I was, well, or, the, or you know, <laughs> something. I wouldn't tell about that. <laughs> uh, but, you, know, you know, you get thanked on your birthday for how old you are. Oh, I forgot And I have that. a lot of children. They line up. <laughs> you have us all down. You're right. Yeah, sure. So. Oh, yes. She said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. That's only Sorry, your first Brenda. game. We'll be right back after this. Inside your carpet, there's a jungle. A jungle teeming with odors. Smoke odors, pet odors, musty, dusty odors. They make their home in your carpet and fill your room with their smells. That's why you love, love my carpet. The new Rug and Room Deodorizer from the makers of Lysol products. Just sprinkle and vacuum. It gets rid of odors in the room by getting rid of odors in the rug. The whole room smells fresh. That's why you love, love my carpet. Steak bones come from steak, and dogs love them. Bones come from Purina. They're a new snack for dogs, and they look so much like steak bones, you can hardly tell the difference. Yeah, but steak bones are delicious. So are bones. They've got a soft little beef-flavored center dogs are crazy about, like a real bone. Well, steak bones are hard and good for his teeth. Bones are, too. In fact, they're better than steak bones. Mm. Bones are so nutritious, your dog could live on bones and water. Mm. Bones are better than bones. One member of our audience jury is going to receive a very nice prize. Here's Johnny Olson to tell us about it. Right, Dick. One member of our jury selected at random will receive Rotel's 20-watt 555 music system complete with AM, FM receiver and high-fidelity two-way speakers designed for minimum space furnished by Rotel. Okay, Dick. Okay. We met these guys yesterday. Let's see if we can find out a little something more about them. Pete, tell us about you. Hi, Dick. I'm Pete Siegel, 24 years old. Moved out to L.A. about a year ago to train for national bodybuilding contests. Uh, I plan to eventually enter and win the Mr. America contest and then pursue a career as a chiropractor. Ah, oh, marvelous. You have the strength for it. <laughs> Larry, tell us about you. Hi, Dick. I'm Larry Turk. I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. I'm a diver, underwater photographer, and heavy construction field engineer. Spent the last five years in the jungles of Zaire and Haiti and Panama. And I just recently returned from the Red Sea, where I photographed sharks and corals. I now live in Beverly Hills. I attend, <laughs> I attend acting workshops in Hollywood. And I'm single and happy to be here today. Beautiful. <laughs> Ralph, tell us about you. Hello, Dick. Uh, my name is Ralph Coleman. I'm living in Oakland, California now. I'm originally from uh, New Jersey. <laughs> I was a Peace Corps volunteer in the Dominican Republic for a couple of years. I'm a great sports fan. And right now, I'm the regional director for Peace Corps and Vista up in the San Francisco area, which covers the eight western states. Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you, it's ought to be as easy to mind read these people as it is to get to San Clemente. <laughs> I just happen to guess. <laughs> my, okay. my name's Jack Jones, and I'm from Pahrump, Nevada. <laughs> Pahrump, there is such a there place, There is such too. a place. Okay, gentlemen, within the last year, have you been in love more than once? These are single men. Please vote now, and your vote will be registered backstage. Within the last year, have you been in love more than once? Hmm. We don't know whether they are going steady, or we have no idea. We have no idea. Well, <clears throat> okay, how about Pete there? Has he been in love more than once? Uh, I, I don't know. I think that he has been, uh, I think in love once, but not more than once. Okay. So far. Peter, he said you'd say no. 
my system can't stand being in love more than once, so I voted no. Oh, good deal. Okay, that's $50. For another $50, how about Adventurous Larry there? Larry seems to be a little in intense mm. about things. In a good way, in a good way. So I would say, yes, he'd been in love, in love more than once. Ah, Larry? Happily, I can say yes. Yes, yes good for you! <laughs> you put him again, you're on a roll. On a roll. Okay, how about Ralph there? I don't know why, but looking at Ralph, I just have to definitely say yes, he's been in love with Oh, hey, Ralph, he says you've been in love okay. more than once. Well, other than the three times today, I have to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Woo, a clean swing make my phone back. I guess so, $150. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Butterball presents the spirits of the first turkey lovers. She planned out her Christmas feast. She lists us ham. I am fixed up. Turkey? You wrote turkey on my list. Turkey? We're having a oh, great idea. This year, please your family with a juicy Christmas butterball. Turkey. Honey, let's have turkey every Christmas. My idea exactly. Thou art truly a ghostwriter. Your special Christmas, a plump, juicy butterball from Swift. I won't clean your carpet. But you're a professional carpet cleaner. Your whole carpet isn't dirty. These grimy, heavy traffic areas make it look dirty. But what can get at that kind of dirt? Plush. A brand new dry carpet cleaner. Just sprinkle plush on and work it in with a damp sponge mop. Plush's powerful dirt dissolvers penetrate the pile, lift out deep down dirt, then vacuum. The heavy traffic areas clean, dry. With no rings or streaks. My whole carpet looks clean. Plush. It's heavy traffic areas so clean, your whole carpet looks clean. For set-in stains, use a little extra plush and a damp brush. Vacuum, and the stain's gone. New plush. Tough enough for stains, too. This is a heavy-duty stick-up. And this oh, is a good place for it. New heavy-duty stick-ups from Airwick for small places with big odors. On all the days of Christmas, I'll make cookies for the kids and candy mints for Aunt Lou. I'll whip out canapes before company gets here and fill some cream puffs, too. When you've got a wherever electric super shooter, the holidays are more of a holiday. It does so much so easily. And don't forget, it makes a great gift. Ready? Aim? Christmas! We're back. We are back with Joyce Fulfant and her lovelies. What a good-looking bunch there. Julie, tell us a little bit about you. Okay, my name is Julie Pola. I'm 22 years old. I'm single. I just moved over here six months ago from Arizona. Before then, I'm originally from New York. Uh, one of my greatest interests is traveling, and if I win a whole bunch of money tonight, that's what I plan on doing. You're going to travel. <laughs> good for you. All right. Ray, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Ray Singleton. I'm the mother of four children. I'm a vice president of a major record company. I am a musician, a writer. All four of my children are in show business. Oh, <laughs> Can I say that? I love it. Yes, uh, very well. And uh, I'm looking forward to winning some money on this show. There you go. Thank you. And you're single, huh? I am single. He's single. That's All right. Me. Elizabeth, tell us about you. I'm Elizabeth May. I'm 25. I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada. And for the last four years, I've been spokesman for a citizen's group opposed to the indiscriminate use of insecticides, and I've had several articles written on the subject. Well, good for you. <laughs> You've got a very good group there, Joyce. All right, let's see if you can mind read them. Here's your first question. Ladies, when you're in love with a man, what turns you on more, the sound of his voice or the touch of his hand? Oh. Please vote now. <laughs> Sound or touch? Oh, I'm turning myself on here. Listen. To me. <laughs> what? What turns you on more, the sound of his voice or the touch of his hand? Okay, it's all. They're all voted. Now, how about Julie? There, Joy. Oh, Julie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoever it is, I hope he's watching so he'll know what his answer is to make or not. Um, I would say a voice is awfully nice, but you can't beat a touch. <laughs> I'd 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> I may want that uh, embroidered on something. I like that. Come on, John. Yes. Uh, I would say that you went for the touch. The touch. Julie, she said touch. What well, Joyce, say? I would have to agree with you 100%, and I said the touch. The oh, touch yeah. it is. Wow, $50. Okay. For another $50, how about Ray? You know why this is going to be difficult with you, Ray? Mm. Because Ray's in the music business. Oh, that's right. And very involved in sound. Oh, right. And a man's voice is singing. You know yeah. how that can be. But if he's singing and he reaches over and gives her a little, get your gotcha. Little what off. Uh, I think that turned her on even more. So I say the touch. You said touch. Okay, Ray. She said a little touch. <laughs> oh... I have to say that I happen to be one of those telephone freaks, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Where the sound of a man's voice really turns me on more so I than even. Oh, oh, good yeah. for you. Okay. You lose, the money goes more over than here. Touch, huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good sound. What about you, Elizabeth? I'm going to find out about these girls. I'm like, <laughs> no, we're going to find out. Jack, what do you think about Elizabeth? A little sound or a little touch? Hmm. Hmm. Little sound touching. <laughs> good sound a touching. good sound touching. She likes to be touched. You said, said touch. Touch. Well, I like to be touched, but I really prefer the sound of his voice. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. You should have fooled me. The money goes over here. Okay. $100 to $200. Here we go. Gentlemen, if you knew your neighbor was involved in an illegal business, would you inform the police? Please vote now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if he was growing more than four stalks. <laughs> A little stuff will do you. Uh, uh, if you knew your neighbor was involved in an illegal business, would you inform the police? Here we go. Okay, they've all voted. Jack, how about Pete there? You want me to point the finger to Stooley? <laughs> okay, uh, gee, this is tough. Uh, I would say Peter would, uh, you see, there should be a time when, when how, well, never mind. I, I would, I'd say he would not inform the police. They would say no, Pete. He'd mind his own business. The name is business is their business, and I did say no. He did say no, $250. You guys can win on this question. Yeah. Yeah. All you have to do yeah. is mind read Larry there. Yeah. How do you think Larry's going to vote, yes or no? Again, I, I, I'm going to go the other way. I think I think uh, he's a good citizen, and he would, would probably, depending on the severity of the case, but I'd say yes, he would. Okay, Larry, he said you said yes. I believe in the rights of people's privacy, and sometimes talking too much, I learned to keep my mouth shut sometimes, and I said no, I wouldn't. Ah, yeah. okay, Hi. the $50 goes over here. Yeah. Yeah. Little Joyce, how about Ralph there? Well, little Dick, I think... <laughs> 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 uh, I think that Ralph would like to keep the peace. <laughs> Being as that's in business, I don't think he'd report on anybody. Okay, Ralph said you'd say no. <laughs> well, um... Uh, oh, for four stalks, no, I have to say no. I <laughs> have to say no, okay. <laughs> 200 to 250, and we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Tinkerbell, thank you, Grandma. Oh. Gee, Mom, remember when you gave me Tinkerbell toiletries? It was like magic. Tinkerbell made you love being clean and pretty. It was fun, too. Tinkerbell's perfect for little girls. And it's a great way to learn good grooming. <laughs> Lotion, talc, even bubble bath. Can I take my bath now, Mommy? Uh, I love Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell gifts make good grooming good fun. We both made coconut cake. Even followed your recipe, Grandma. Not completely. You didn't use Baker's coconut. How'd you know? Well, yours doesn't taste as fresh. Mm. Tender, moist. Mm. Baker's does taste fresher. Baker's is proved fresher tasting than any other national brand. Don't scrimp on, on coconut. coconut. Ruth's cake still can't beat yours. She's getting the right idea. 
Baker's Angel Flake Coconut. Fresher taste makes the difference. No more coffee. Relax, John. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so impatient. My doctor says I drink too much caffeine. Well, why don't you drink Sanka Brand decaffeinated coffee? I only like real coffee. Sanka Brand is real coffee. And taste it. Mm. It's great coffee. Hi, John. Hi. That must have taken you a long time. It's easy when you have patience. And Sanka Brand. <laughs> Sanka Brand, the coffee that lets you be your best. Oh, so many margarines. But chiffon tastes good enough to fool Mother Nature. Tastes so sweet and creamy, so much like butter. All you'll ever want is more chiffon. You'll see. Tastes like butter. Mm, so many margarines. But chiffon's good enough to fool Mother Nature. It tastes like butter, but it's not. We have an exciting game, Jack Jones and his merry men. $250, Joyce Bielepon, $200. And here's the uh, question numero tuo. I see, I speak those Very languages. Good, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies, for $1,000, would you go a full year without using any kind of makeup? <laughs> Please vote now. For $1,000? For $1,000, would you go a full year without using any kind of makeup? Wow, I wonder, how about Julie? Do you think she'd go a full year for $1,000? I think she'd rather slit her wrist. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the best answer. <laughs> Julie, she said no. I'd agree with her. I'd probably slit my wrist. I said no. <laughs> you said no. Okay. Someone's going to win on this question. 250 to 250, someone's going to win. How about Ray? Well... Beauty's only skin deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good. And that's the, part, that's the part you see, right? Right, that's right. I would say that uh, Ray would say no. No. She, Ray, she said you'd say no. Oh, I wouldn't think of going without wearing makeup. <laughs> there you go. She said no. <laughs> and that's it. The women have won the game. Okay, girls. We're going to play for the big dollars now. And you're going to have to uh, mind read our audience jury. We selected ten, ten people, five guys and five girls, to serve on our jury. Hiya, jury! Hi. Boy, they're there. Let's go down and judge that jury. Come on, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, as, a, as, as good a looking a jury as I've seen, yes, it's possible for you to win $15,000 starting right now. Jury. Do you begin each morning with a cup of coffee? Please vote now. Wow. How about you, Elizabeth? Do you uh, start every day with a cup of coffee? No, I don't. I start, start every day with a nice hot cup of tea with honey in it and a little hey. mug with a picture of Peter Rabbit on it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> now you're trying to turn me on again. <laughs> well, I think that's exciting. What about these people? Do you think they... I don't know. These are, after all, they, they wear long winter underwear and uh, almost half of them write graffiti. That's uh, I'd say eight starts the day with a cup of coffee. Eight. Okay, up to eight it goes. Eight will get you a $500. Between six and ten is 200 <laughs> Let's find out how many start each morning with a cup of coffee. <laughs> Only four. How about that? Would have surprised me too. Yeah. Okay, you still have plenty of time. Ray. <laughs> That's kind of wild. I kind of I thought uh, I thought there'd be more than that. Yeah. Jury, have you ever dreamt that you had a romantic interlude with a movie star? Please vote yes or no. <laughs> well, 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 Ray. How many uh, up there do you see that have ever dreamt that they had a romantic interlude with a movie star? Okay, I'm a real fantasy type person, and I think most of these people in here are <laughs> all stars. So I am going to say eight. Eight? Okay, it's already on eight. Hey, it'll bring you $500, between six and ten, $200. Let's find out. I can't wait to find out how many have ever dreamt that they had a romantic interlude with a movie star. Only two. Oh, my, oh my goodness. I, I can't, I, I'm with you. I don't understand it. Come on, Julie. I'd ask which two. Should I ask which two? 
Okay. Who, uh, who has had a, uh, um, a nocturnal assignation with uh, a movie star? Who was the movie star? <laughs> she won't tell us. Okay. That's, I kind of like to know. Oh. Jerry, do you, own, do you own a copy of the Bible? Please vote now. Hmm. I thought they were all in motels. Strange. No. Strange. <laughs> okay. How many up there do you think own mm -hmm. a copy of the Bible? I'd have to say almost everyone would have even a little one somewhere, mm -hmm. I would hope. Um, I'm going to go with seven. Seven it is. Seven will get you $500. Between five and nine, $200. Let's find out how many own a copy of the Bible. Seven! You did it! Beautiful. You're going to play for $5,000 when we come back right after this and play the level we turn about. Mrs. Jenks, mm. so glad you could give me a day. Start early, finish early, and I don't do toilets. You don't do toilets? Not every time. I keep a shower in the bowl. A shower in the toilet bowl? New no, be fresh. Watch. Be Fresh makes Ever Flush a deodorizing shower. Even has detergents to fight bowl ring buildup. Nice fresh scent. That's new Be Fresh. It's the shower for the bowl. Ah! Bye, Mom. That was Scout Pack 9. This is the den mother who mops up after them. And this is how I do more than just damp mop. I use Future in water to refresh the shine. I still use Future straight. But every time I damp mop, my future works with water to really perk up the shine. And it's no extra work. Come on, Dad. Come on. Dry fast as water, too. Use future both ways. Get a tougher than wax shine and refresh that shine every time you damp mop. See you later on Mind Readers. Bye-bye and bye-bye. A member of our studio audience will receive Toastmaster System 3 Oven Broiler. Bakes, broils, rolls, slow heat cooks, entire meals in separate dishes for the whole family. Continuous cleaning furnished by Toastmaster. And some of our contestants will receive Totes Automatic Compact Umbrella. Great gift. Push the button. It's open. Big enough for two. Totes, a great gift for men or women. Or the famous Presto Pressure Cooker. Re-engineered, redesigned for ultimate safe, modern, high-speed cooking. The Presto Pressure Cooker. Or from Polonex, handheld and Swedish-style deep heat massagers to help ease tension, relax tired muscles. Or Prince Gardner, matching leather accessories, smartly styled for fashion-conscious men or women. A buy a name and leather accessories, Prince Gardner. Or a gift package including fragrant cap-free foaming bath oil. Soften your skin and soothe your body with cap-free foaming bath oil. Or there's even more to the silvery beauty than meets the eye inside the Razor Point Classic, the finest features of the famous potted Razor Point marker pen. Tomorrow, a doctor's visit sends Shirley to bed, and the kids fear they're about to become both fatherless and motherless on Shirley, followed by the Rockford Files and Eyeshine, all tomorrow on NBC. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Mind Readers, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production. Tonight, it's a night of Christmas specials, starting with...